everyone. I'm trying to tie my shirt up. Hi everyone, Kim Ford here. I am going live, and I know it's been a minute since I've been live on Facebook. I'm usually over on Instagram just posting photos, but now I am going to be doing more Facebook Live. So I'm at home, and I want to jump on right quick before I start making dinner to talk about um, the top three fears that hold people back. <clears throat> and one of the main reasons why I'm doing this is because um, I've definitely experienced it myself. And I want to be able to help so many others. So if you could share this, give me some hearts, some likes, because there's going to be so many people that have fears um, that's really holding them back. Um, sometimes they know what that fear is. Sometimes it's just in their head. But when you hear someone else say it, you, you kind of it kind of resonates. You know what? I have that fear too. So again, go ahead and share this with as many people as possible. Give me some hearts on the side. And if I say anything that res resonates with you, just drop your favorite emoji the whole time I'm on if I if I say something that, that really resonates or really helps you. So the first thing that I want to cover is the fear of rejection. We all have to face the fear of rejection, right? It doesn't feel good. No type of fear feels good. And all of these fears that I'm mentioning, you can um, use these in your relationships, whether it's for a career, and even fear sometimes holds you back from pursuing your dreams because it's all in your head. Everything I'm mentioning, most of it, it's all in your head. So, fear of rejection. People avoid even new relationships when it comes to um, the fear of rejection. They're scared to approach somebody else. They're scared to accept someone else um, coming into their lives. You know, at one time there was the no, no, no new friend, no new friends. Why don't you want any more new friends? Especially if you have more to learn, your life isn't over. You're going to have to get more new friends but it's going to have to be the right circle of friends so that fear of rejection sometimes people keep keeps people from not being social they're secluded they call it being private but really it's just a fear of rejection and some other insecurities that may be going on but we have to acknowledge what those fears are and overcome them um, you can't let it hold you back. Just You're going to feel the fear. I'm not saying at any time you won't feel it. But the key is to do it afraid. You have to keep it moving. So the second fear I want to go over is the fear of being judged. A fear of what people will say. And I'm here to tell you now, you cannot get caught into what people say because people will keep you small. If you don't fit in that box of what they see you doing, of where they see you, of where, where they see you can go or what you can do, then you know you're going to be talked about so but you don't live your life for them anyway so so many pe people have a fear of what people they've known all their lives would say or what their co-workers would say or what their family would say if god is instructing you to do something to step out of the box he's giving you this new insight or whatever it is you cannot let the fear of being judged and what people say will hold you back because a lot of times if people got enough time to talk about what you're doing what exactly are they doing i have no when people t tell me about the latest gossip and reality shows and everything thanks diana for those emojis thank you thank you so much thank you for sharing this thank you very much Derek bugs i appreciate all of that but you know the right people here's the thing the right people wait before i say that i want to remind you guys if they have that time to judge what you're doing, where you're going, what you have the audacity to step out of the box to do, what exactly are they doing? I remember this instance where um, even me coming back on doing videos, I'm like, I know a lot of things that I've been through, blazed through, and for me to just keep it to myself when I clearly see people going through some things in silence. A lot of people suffer in silence because this you know, social media just wants everything to seem really perfect and pretty and glossy. But I'm here to tell you, it's not. That's not even real life. It's not real life. So, you know what? You can't have a fear of being judged. You can't have a fear of always getting it right. You can't, you can't want to always get it right because you fear if you miss one little thing, somebody's going to get on and say something. Guess what? They talked about Jesus. Guess what? They talked about Oprah. Guess what? They talk about Beyonce. So guess who they who guess who else they're gonna talk about? They're gonna talk about you. But does that have anything to do with you or your money or your relationships? No, let them talk. I posted something on my Instagram. People will watch you and admire you in silence and swear when the whole world knows your name, they've been with you since the beginning. 
you have all right to give them the side eye like, what? You were silent in all those years when I was building this thing. So we can't have the fear of being judged. You're going to feel the fear, but do it afraid anyway. Yes. Do it afraid. So again, if, I say, if you just joined me, go ahead and share this um, with so, all your friends because somebody needs this, even if it's one of the fears. Somebody needs it. If I say something that resonates with you, drop an emoji in the comment section and be sure to tap some hearts to, to let people know you're in this with me. So again, like I was saying, the right people, they will not judge you. The right people will love you. They will encourage you. They would say, go ahead, brother, you did a good job on that, whatever it is you did, the artwork, the song, the music, the video, the, the class you taught, whatever it is, the right people, they're going to encourage you. Now, now, that's not to say don't accept constructive criticism because it was, it's all about growing and surrounding yourself with a trustworthy circle of friends that, and mentors that you can, you, you can, you can trust, but... When you constantly hear having somebody judge you, I don't care if it's mom, dad, brother, sister, cousin, uncle, third cousin, neighbor, whomever it is, you're going to have to change that circle up and get around some healthy people. The next fear I want to talk about is the fear of inadequacy. The fear of feeling inadequate as if you're not good enough. As fear, feel as you're not young enough or you're not old enough. You know, age, age isn't a thing. Now, I'm not saying you're 50 years old and now you're trying to come out to be the hottest rapper on the charts. That time has passed. So I'm not saying do that. However, there are some things that you can do and, and blaze through the fear of feeling inadequate as if you're not enough, right? So I had that, I had that feeling one time before too. I wanted to, as you know, I, um, and I didn't even int introduce myself. Some of you may know who I am. I'm Kim Ford. Some of you have no clue of who this girl is talking to me about fear, but I'm Kim Ford. I have a media company called Kim Ford Media, where I do digital media, um, personal development, and lifestyle. And most of you may know me for the digital media side, which is Jubilee Mag, where I publish my online magazine. But today it's all about personal development and getting our mind right. Yes? So... I had this instance to where um, I'm feeling inadequate about approaching a brand because I really wanted to work on this film with my magazine to work with this film. I was like, man, I'm not, I'm not large enough. I don't have enough followers. I don't have this. I don't have that. But the more I kept telling myself, I don't, I'm not, I don't measure up the smaller and smaller and smaller I felt. I'm like, wait a minute. This isn't me. This isn't the normal me. I'm going to have to sit here. Hi, Curtis. I'm going to have to sit here and figure this out and do it afraid. So guess what? I wrote my proposal up. I put all my slides together. I sent it to them. And before I, I it took me forever to hit that send button. It took me forever to hit that send button. You know, I sat there for a good minute like, okay, 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 okay. But you know what? I finally sent it to them, to the, to, to the studio. Now, did they work with me? Nope. But guess what? I pushed past my fear of feeling inadequate. I didn't let the fact that I may be a smaller brand, but I'm here to roll with the big dogs because I'm doing something I know God gave me the God-given ability to do. And even when I started my online magazine, I um, took that same fear and I had to blaze through it. I was maybe online maybe two weeks, a couple of weeks, and the first major event that I covered was the BET Hip Hop Awards um, in Atlanta. They didn't know I just launched my site a couple weeks. You know, who am I? I could have had the mindset of who am I to say I'm not big enough to, you know, do something with BET. But guess what? I submitted my paperwork anyway. And I said, you know what? We about to find out. And guess what? Did they accept me? Yes. So that was my first major red carpet that I covered. So we can't let the fears of not being big enough because there's all, always going to be someone prettier, have more money than you, more followers, more numbers, more body, less body, whatever it is, it's always going to be somebody out there. Always. But that fear of inadequacy cannot stifle us. It can't freeze us in our tracks and us pursuing what it is we want to do. Maybe someone out there want to do a career change. It's not too late. Maybe you still want your law degree and you are afraid that other people will be like, what makes you think you can be a lawyer? Because you can, because schools are open and you can apply like everybody else applies. 
But no one, a lot of people do not have the people in their lives to say, go ahead and go for it. Go ahead and push past that fear and you can do it. And here, here's another thing. McDonald's is not worried about Burger King. Why? Because they know they pop in with, 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 with the vision that God gave them. They're not closing their doors. Yes, I don't care if somebody else may have an idea. Hey, sis. Go, go driven and never gave up. So probably. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm Thank you for saying that you needed to hear this. That's why I keep saying share this because somebody needs to hear this. Even I need to hear it from time. We have to keep hearing it. And that's the thing. We can't come across as if we, everyone knows everything. Nobody is going through anything because we all know that's not the truth. And the next thing you know, we, see, we hear some bad news. But I'm here to just... Put those fears out there. What are those fears? Let's talk about it. I'm sharing mine, showing you ones that works, showing when I when it went through for me, when it didn't work, because I'm vulnerable enough and transparent enough to do that, you know, knowing that it will help somebody else. So Adidas isn't worried about Nike, and McDonald's is not worried about Burger King or Chick-fil-A or anything like that. They're not saying, oh, well, someone else is already doing this, so I'm not going to do it. Oh, well, she has a magazine, so I'm not going to start one because I don't, I don't want it to look like I'm trying to do what she is doing. What? If God is telling you to do this, you do it. You do it. Now, if you clearly are doing it just because you think it looks cool, that, that ain't your lane. Because I'm telling you, when you try to get out there and see how hot that block is, of how, how much work it takes to put it off, you're going to quit. You're going to quit. You're gonna, it's going to have to be in you. Whatever your thing is. It's going to have to be in you. And I was at Essence Fest and I was um, interviewing Spike Lee. And he mentioned the fact that we have to pursue what our passion is. We can't have a fear of not pursuing whatever that passion is. He was saying how, of course, we all know he went to Morehouse. Hey, Mark. I'll take care of you in your home park. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Mark. He was saying how when he went to school, a lot of his, his colleagues went to school to become an attorney, doctors, everything at Morehouse, mainly because their parents wanted them to do that. Because when you graduate, you have that good paying job that will take care of whatever it is you need to take care of. Sounds good. Right. But he was in the arts, and, and a lot of people can't really grasp, how are you going to make money off of that, though? Right? So that was his issue. But that didn't stop him from pursuing what he knew was in his heart that he couldn't stop sleeping about. You know, he, he couldn't sleep because he wanted to th keep making movies. So long story short, he made his movies. Fast forward, this is 2017 now. We all know Spike Lee came out, what, in the late 80s, school days and all of that. Fast forward, uh, uh, when I was at Essence Fest, he told me those same people that picked those careers that their parents wanted them to do, they are absolutely miserable with their lives. Yes, they are, you know, they're flourishing in their careers, but they're so unhappy. But guess what? He's not. He stuck with what his lane was, which was the arts, which was filmmaking, and it is prospering him right now, and he feels fulfilled. It's not just paying bills, but you feel like you out there missing everything, right? We can't have the fear of, of missing it, yeah? Because no one is perfect. We can't have the fear of not wanting to start over. That's another fear. A fear of not wanting to start over. You have to start over as many times as you need to to get it right. And don't have all the fears that I talked about previously. You can't have that fear of rejection. You can't have that fear of being judged. You can't have that fear of, fear of being inadequate. Why? Because you still have to live your life and you still have to be fulfilled with it. I told you the stories that I went through and I still go through daily of fighting through Fears of things that's only in here. So, I don't want to just talk about the fears. I'm going to talk about solutions as well. So, one of the things we have to do is the opposite of fear is faith. We have to feed our fear, feed our faith. So, the more we listen to things that feed our faith, whether it's the Bible, you go in and find scriptures on um, faith about what it is you're trying to do, whether you're trying to eat better, lose weight, um, overcoming inadequacies, yes? If you want to build your faith by reading more books about going back to school. Yes, the opposite of fear is faith. You have to shift gears and go in the opposite direction if you know that fear is holding you back. So if you need to read books um, on the subject matter that you need more faith in, that you're thinking you won't be good enough in, but you know you want to do it. And you, you know, a lot of fear is a lot of procrastination, 
hesitation, <laughs> you know, all of the Asians, all of that. All of that is a, is a product of fear. You have to build it. You build it by listening to podcasts. Um, find out who's the top podcaster in the area that you need help in, help in, whether it's fitness, whether it's in entrepreneurship, whether it's digital marketing, whether it's fashion. It doesn't matter what it is, but you still are fearful about it. But I'm telling you, the more you build your faith, the more you keep hearing it and keep hearing it. The word says to, you know, to keep hearing it. Faith comes by hearing. So we got to hear it so that we're not stuck in our head with what we can't do. So the more you build your faith by reading those books, reading the scriptures, listening to podcasts, surrounding yourself with individuals that knows how to do it. Thank you, AJ. Individuals that knows how to do it. Eventually you'll go from, I'm not good enough. I can't do that. What will people say to, yo, I got this. Like, I got this, got this. I don't just a little bit have this. I got this. And sometimes to get to that point, it will be in phases. It may take a few weeks. It may take a little while, but whatever it takes, don't take too long though, because otherwise you won't do anything at all, right? So you want to get to moving. Another solution is to just do it afraid. I told you when I submitted my proposal to work with this particular film, I was terrified before I hit that send button, but I sent the, I hit the send button in fear and I did it anyway. And the more you do it over and over again, that fear goes away because you know what? I got this. You have more faith in, I got this and I, and, and I can do it. So I'm not going to hold you guys long. Cause like I said, I have to get to cooking dinner, but I do want you to know what fear does. Fear will definitely keep you small. Fear will definitely keep you feeling unfulfilled. And fear will definitely keep you broke because it's not going to allow you to pursue the big life-changing things that God already predestined for all of us. I'm telling you what I know. I had to overcome this just like I'm telling you. You know what? So it's important for us to share the information that some of us may have, have been through, that has helped others. Um, you know, because that's what I'm here to do. There's enough people, people suffering in silence, suffering behind their laptops, suffering behind the cubicle because they're afraid to ask the, the, you know, the tough questions or to reach out for help. But you can always reach out to me. I'm everywhere on social media at I am Kim Ford. And you can definitely um, join my email list at bit.ly slash join Kim Ford. And that way you get a notification of every time I'm going to be coming on. So again, continue to share this, drop an emoji, any emoji in the comment if I said anything that resonated with you because hey, it takes a village for all of us to get through life together. Nobody gets to the top alone. Nobody gets to their ideal state of mind alone. We all need each other. Yes, so it's important to get the right help. Don't just go help, get help from somebody that's that's um, bitter Betty. Don't go to her. Stay. That's the people you want to stay away from. But get around strong, like-minded individuals, forward-thinking individuals, big-minded individuals that will definitely foster that. So again, share that. Give me some hearts. Drop an emoji. And if there's any other topics you want me to talk about, drop that in the comments as well. Or you can hit me in the um, in my inbox. So till next time, thank you so much. I see you, Shankidra. Thank you, Diana. Thank you, Anita. Thank you, Derek. Thank you, Robbie. Thank you, everybody that joined. And, and I'm going to be doing these more and more and more because, hey, personal development is definitely a lane that I absolutely love. Yes, I love the celebrity stuff, but personal development is where I really, really flourish because I get to help people, which is my heart. So till next time, bye.